What are you doing? <laughs> but I am going to say yeah. I I think it depends, but I wouldn't. Th I don't. I don't think so. Disagree. Yeah, we'll agree to disagree. Yeah. It's more fun being a racing driver than a football player. <laughs> Easy question. Disagree. I mean, I think in here with the full crowd screaming would be a pretty good adrenaline buzz, but mm -hmm. still being on the edge in a racing car is pretty fun. Yeah, I'm not sure I'd describe being on the edge in a racing car fun, <laughs> but uh, running around a field with my mates is pretty fun, so yeah. disagree. Yeah, we'll agree to disagree. Yeah. Team sports are more rewarding than individual sports. Yeah, no, I, I would agree. Yeah, I think so. But I mean, I don't know any sort of individual sports that aren't really team sports as well. I suppose you've got a team behind the scenes. Yeah, I've never felt like being a driver is an individual yeah. sport. It's always felt like a, a team effort. From my point of view, it's just experience the highs and the lows as a team. You've seen how much people have worked hard and behind yeah. the scenes and you've physically seen someone else do more and push that extra mile. So it is sweeter when you're celebrating with other people, yeah. Yeah, 100%. Winning as a team is I think it's the best feeling the best, yeah. ever. <laughs> yeah. Football fans are more passionate than motorsport fans. See, I haven't really watched any motorsport to judge, but I am going to say yeah. <laughs> I mean, I I think it depends, but I, I wouldn't. Th I, don't, I don't think so. I mean, football fans are mental for sure, but I feel like motorsport fans are also hardcore and dedicated, especially in rally, because they have to drive to the middle of nowhere and walk for the kilometres in the middle of the forest just to see a car go past Team for two past, seconds. Yeah. So I feel like you've got to be pretty committed yeah, for that. That does take a lot of commitment, but I do think football fans are a lot more passionate, yeah. only because I think the away trips and the commitment yeah. that everybody has to have is massive. And the chance that the all like they British make, football yeah, fans, it's yeah. just brilliant. Our team come up with them in racing now, I think do from they? this like live, and then some of them are just the funniest thing I've ever heard. Being a woman in sport is empowering. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I, so. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think it's, you know, if you're doing, pursuing your passion and doing mm -hmm. what you love um, in any field, sport's one of them. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think that sort of goes for, for anything if you're following your dreams and trying to do some good along the way. Absolutely. I think if you're doing your best, no matter what that is, driving, playing football and knocking down barriers along the way. It's always good. I think it gives us a platform as well that maybe not every woman has, which I think is an extra bonus. So yeah. Totally. My 10 year old self would be proud of where I am now. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> I don't know, actually my 10 year old self wanted to be an Olympic horse rider. So maybe what? she would be like, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> no but, uh, but I think so. Definitely for me, I think I was constantly with a football, like night, day, whatever day, what time it was, I was constantly <laughs> kicking a football. So I didn't think I could do anything else and I never <laughs> have. But yeah, I just think the same as having a dream and actually pursuing it. Did you think you could have a career doing that? No, no, I think at the time it wasn't a pathway for us. Like it's still in work in progress, but now it can become a job. Back then it wasn't a choice for us, so I was sort of lucky that I've sort of stayed with it and got me opportunities and took them. So it's a dream that we're living in it and we'll forever be grateful for it. Sport still has things to learn regarding athletes and their mental health. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's an easy one. <laughs> yeah, only in the past like year or two in um, my career have I had any sort of support with mental health or like, for me, sport is often an escape, so having additional help with that is, is great. In motorsport the distress is quite high and there's always it's quite uncertain and you're really you're, you're trying to push yourself to the edge in a really demanding changing environment yeah. so you sort of got to be happy to put yourself on on the limit and, and put yourself out there and, and I think you have to do that you have to be strong. My sport does enough to promote quality and diversity. I'm gonna say yeah. Oh, wait, sorry no I'm gonna say that. that's what I was going for one colour. <laughs> I mean, what we do in Extreme E is incredible um, in terms of promoting diversity, um, just providing the opportunity in the first place for females to race with some really big teams and some really big name drivers and learn from them has been incredible. So I think from the Extreme E side, then yeah, we really are doing a huge amount. But I think, you know, fundamentally from grassroots is sort of the critical thing. So I think there's, there's still so much more we can do as a motorsport as a whole. I'd agree with that. I think here at Forest, there's a lot of that, but particularly, like you said, across the whole world of football, I think there could be a lot more that can be done. Being a racing driver is more dangerous than being a footballer. 
Yeah, 100%. It's probably 100%. <laughs> I mean, I feel like you guys probably have a higher risk to like pull your muscles and do like That's other bone injuries. That's not risking your life. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel, I mean, like the, our cars have so much protection yeah. in them. So we, you know, we have like fireproof suits and harnesses and, and seats that like wrap all the way around to here and big steel roll cages in the car. So we are kind of doing some mental stuff out there. Yeah, <laughs> mental. <laughs> Yeah, I, I just couldn't do it. Definitely yours is more dangerous. Like the worst thing we do is go into a 50-50 and yeah. that's not, I'm sure <laughs> what I mean. Playing sports in school is just as important as studying other subjects. Obviously the other subjects are very important, but I think that the social skills and um, athletic skills you get from playing sport are equally as important. Yeah, I agree. And I think there's so many different sports that it's not, you don't need to be an athletic person to, to be able to take part in some kind of sport. Women's sports could be promoted better by sport media and broadcasters. Yeah, that's an easy yes. <laughs> Definitely. For example, racing car drivers like women is, I don't see it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I think for, for us, for footballers, it's getting a little bit better. We like, it's more visibility to, you can see us on billboards and crisp packets and bottles, yeah. which is brilliant, but definitely, definitely needs to be seen more. My mum was a professional rally co-driver, so growing up she was kind of my role model, I guess. And then it's only now looking at that and the impact it had on me that I realised how important that visibility is for Definitely. encouraging the next generation. So yeah. one of the really good things about Extreme E is it's the first series that have stipulated that each team has two drivers and one has to be male and one has to be female. So it's given us an incredible platform to be able to promote our female talent in the same place as, as male talent. You need as much mental strength as physical to perform at a high level. Yeah, definitely. I think with all the training and the commitment that you have to do, to have yourself mentally prepared for that is a lot, as well as having your physical side ready to go as well. So it is hard to keep that balance all the time, consistently. The mental side is so much more important because you're in this really high pressure environment trying to make all these quick decisions. I when bet a million things go yeah, your Yeah, everything's parts. changing and, and you've got to be sharp and it's all about decision making. So the physical side is almost just to allow you to be fit enough to keep your mind clear and then it all comes down to your, your do you, mind I think. Do you have to do like any physical training to like prepare or? Yeah I mean it's a bit it's not like you guys where you've got you know really specific things you have to yeah. be good at and for us you know you need to have a good level of core strength you need to have a good level of aerobic capacity and, and just general muscle strength. So we train Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday and obviously perform on a Sunday um, so it is pretty busy schedule and we do train a lot so definitely challenges you physically but I love it so I continue to do it for some reason. <laughs>